Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we are looking at AccuSense from HitVision and particularly we're looking at AccuSense on HitVision DVRs and not MVRs, even though obviously all the latest MVRs and IP cameras have this feature. Okay, so we're gonna quickly explain to you what AccuSense is and what smart search and analysis is. Um, and then we're gonna quickly show you how to set it up on your DVR. And then we're gonna have a quick example showing you the playback and the smart search and analysis in action and to show you how much time you can save viewing the playback and things like that. All right, so uh, it's a bit of a short video today and um, I'm gonna leave some model numbers below so of the, of the range of these DVRs if you are interested, but they are the latest ones with all the bells and whistles. So uh, these are really popular amongst our customers and uh, we highly recommend them. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in a sec on the next clip on the next segment. Thanks. Okay, so we're on the HitVision website now, and they say AccuSense technology helps you take security to the next level with accurate real-time threat detection that distinguishes between people, vehicles from other targets. So yeah, this is exactly what it does. So there's two ways to use AccuSense. One is you can set up motion detection in a, maybe a sensitive area, maybe a security door, something like that. You wanna know what's going on and get notifications to your app. So great, you can use that and you can set it to human or vehicle detection and you're not gonna get notifications from like a cat coming by or the wind blowing or the rain. So it really cuts out false notifications. But on today's video, we're looking at smart playback, smart, smart analysis, and this is where AccuSense comes in as well. So it can basically tag your video footage so to human and vehicles when it detects them. Okay, so as you see here, it's faster, more accurate, more efficient, and easier to use than previous DVRs. So it really makes the latest HitVision DVRs what we call smart DVRs. Okay, so they really can save a lot of time and uh, a lot of headaches from just being bombarded with false notifications and going through hours and hours of playback. Okay, so imagine uh, you have an incident and you're not too sure what, when it was, what happened, or uh, you have no details, but you know something's happened and you suspect a vehicle was, in, w was responsible. Great, so go back to the day when something happened, select vehicle playback, and you'll be able to see all the vehicles that came in, okay, or humans, okay, or both. So it, it's gonna save you a lot of time through playback and it really does a really good job and you can apply this to all the cameras on your DVR or like I said, all the latest uh, MVRs um, have this feature as well. And it doesn't even have to be HitVision cameras you use. If you have an old system and you plug in, you know, your HitVision DVR, the HitVision DVR will, will, will technically AccuSense the cameras for you. So really great fe feature from HitVision and uh, we really recommend this and it's on all the R DVRs that we sell. So if, if you don't know about AccuSense, I really would recommend checking it out. And now what we're going to do is I have a, I have one here, our testing DVR. I'm gonna set up a camera. We're gonna set up the AccuSense on the DVR and then we're gonna show you the playback. All right, so catch you there. Thank you. All right, so now let's set up the smart recording on our eight channel DVR. Okay, we're also using an eight megapixel camera. I'll leave the links below. As you can see, it's set up here and we've got some nice vehicles and humans to track. All right then. So to do that, we're going to set up our motion detection. Uh, but before we go there, we'll just quickly check our smart analysis, do a quick human search. As you see, uh, no results found. Okay, so we're going to change that and also get the fast playback going. Okay, so to do this, we go to system tab, then event, and we want to enable simple motion detection on our camera. Okay, so if you want to set up more advanced uh, motion detection with notifications and things like that, I recommend going to smart events, but right now we're just... Uh, looking at the smart analysis. Okay, so let's click on enable and we want to draw the area. So left click where you want to draw. Okay, we're just going to draw a box covering the whole area, but you might want to be a bit more selective. And then left click again to mark the points. All right, and then when you're finished, do a little right click and we'll join up the last dots. And that's our area drawn. I'm gonna slightly reduce the sensitivity a little bit. I like 40. We're gonna have human and vehicle detection. There's no harm in having both uh, because it's just for the smart analysis. And we click on apply. So that's it now. So our motion detection enabled. 
Uh, simple as that. If you go copy to copy to, you can select all the cameras, go OK, and then apply, and you can put that on all your cameras. Okay, and just quickly check the Armin station. If it's all blue, that's good. That means it's on 24/7. And linkage, uh, we don't need anything here under normal linkage um, because it's going to, if you, for example, notify surveillance sensor, it's going to keep bugging you with notify with, with uh, uh, notifications. So we don't need any of that, and that's everything now set up. So it's going to leave that now for an hour or two or whenever I can get back to the DVR and we'll go check out the playback and the smart analysis then. All right, catch you soon. All right, so we left the DVR to record for a couple of hours. Now let's check out the playback. Okay, so on the playback tab here, as you see, we're on our normal playback. That means just get one continuous line of recording and then you have to scroll through it like normal. Okay, but what we're going to do is enable the smart playback. So we click on part, uh, click on smart, and then you see the red lines come up. So red lines mean anywhere where there's a human or vehicle. Right now, let's keep it simple. Let's just choose humans. So as you see now, it's human only. Okay, so if we scroll here, you see no humans, no humans, no humans. And as soon as it gets to the red, someone should appear. There you go. Someone up here has appeared, and it's marked it in red. Okay, so let's play that. So there you go, it's taking it back to the beginning. And then what will happen on the playback, it's, it's not going to be continuous, it's going to jump from human to human, okay, from red to red. So if you want to have 20 smooth playback, then go back to normal, okay. But this is really great to see just all the human interaction or vehicle interaction. And there we go. Oh, that's human and vehicle technically all in one. So, so yeah, that, that's how it works. Let's quickly have a look at the vehicles. All right, there's one vehicle going by. Then it's gonna to jump to the next one. All right, so that's a smart playback. So it's really good for, for those guys who view a lot of playback, if you've got a high incident area, or those who like to be quite nosy, let's be honest here. So it's great DVR for you. And let's, one quick lot, last look at the smart analytics, smart analysis even. Let's go human search, let's do a search. There we go. In a couple of hours, it has made 594 pictures. Okay, so that should, every single one should have a human interaction on here. Okay, so let's choose a few at random. Oh, this is back to the earlier in the, in the video. Yeah, you can see someone there getting out of the car. So really great feature. Let's check out the the vehicles. Okay, so we should have a vehicle coming by in each one. There we go. There's the vehicle. Next one. All right, so as you see, really great feature, really good for playback. It shows you all the vehicle, human interaction. Uh, it's going to save you a lot of time going through all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.